All right. So, peace be with you. What we're about to do right now is a 30 minute follow along strength training routine. We're on this incredible tour of a troll themed Norwegian town. Now, Now, I don't always do follow along. Usually, I'm doing um, kind of my own thing, but I like to switch it up. That way, just, you know, switching it up is nice. All right, it's giving me ads and all kinds of stuff I never asked for. There you go. So, yeah, I'm just going to follow along with this. I've got 25s and I've got 10s. Now, I could do more than 25, but I'm just kind of getting back into the strength training still. So I've learned over the past year or so to just take it slow. <laughs> you know, I, you don't have to start off <clears throat> full speed, you know, trying to go as hard as you can out the gate. Just take it slow. As long as you're consistent, you're going to make those gains. You're going to, you know see yourself get better and you don't have to be freaking superman from day one it's okay who are you trying to impress bro as long as you look good you feel good all that stuff you know that's all that matters so yeah here we go Then we got a nice goblet squat. I did 15 there. I probably only should have done 12, so I'm not trying to overdo it. Because you're gonna get plenty of work in this routine, so you don't have to overdo it. Yeah, this is a hit cardio, uh, high intensity type style thing. So, not a whole lot of rest. Fifteen, that's good for me. <sighs> yeah, for chest fifteen is perfectly fine. Get some flies in there.
also for this hit workout it's going so fast you don't really want to have to fumble with trying to change the weights and stuff like that so just do a weight that you know isn't too heavy that way you can just do it pretty much for everything Like I said, there's more time on the timer here, but 12 is just fine. I could do more and really, you know, go all out, but I'm good. I ain't gonna do that. I can feel it in my muscles. I'm sweating. I'm breathing. So that's how you know you're doing work. Don't try to keep up with other people. Just, you know, get it. And so this is pretty much the same thing, except for you kind of flip your hands up. So it's like reverse. Make sure you get that good squeeze at the top of the, the movement. I can definitely feel it up here in my biceps. Whew. Yeah, this ain't no joke. Whew. Uh, deadlifts. You want to go as low as you can without touching the ground. Keep those legs straight. That way you can feel it in your hamstrings, your calves, get a little glute stretch. Staggers next. You gotta take a break, take a break. Whew. I feel like it wasn't even this hard the other day when I was fasting and did this. Ugh. Things change, man. Things change. So this is a stagger. You put one leg behind, bend that front knee a little. Uh, you can really feel it uh, in that front leg. Uh, I don't know how many I did, but whew. Uh. <laughs> Look at that ad. Oh well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, Whew. gives me some time to rest. Fantastic. <laughs> 
They didn't give it to me. I was going to take it. That's beautiful. You want to make sure you control it on the way down? Slight bend in the knee, I mean the elbow. You really do not have to go heavy on this. Uh, yeah, shoulders are not the biggest muscle, so. Don't overdo it. Ooh, Here we go. I do know why it's a little harder. Last time I was just using the uh, the round plate, which was a 25. This time I'm actually using two separate dumbbells. That way both my arms are getting plenty of work. You know, with that one plate, my arms are kind of supporting each other. With this, you don't have that. That's why I like working with dumbbells more. <laughs> Man, that's good. Don't swing too much. Try to keep your body nice and still, best you can. Don't be freaking, you know, doing all that. Yeah, I'm gonna need a quick break. Holy shit. Whew. I'm messing up. You know what? 
I think that is what I'm going to do. I'll go with the lighter weight. Now I can really focus on getting that nice squeeze. Whew, get a couple extra. I went too far back. <laughs> See, when you go with that lighter weight, you can really focus on your form. And form is crucial. You can be using heavy weight, but you got screwed up form. That's going to take away from the amount of strength that you could be using. Yeah, I feel that in my back. Back and biceps and shoulders. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, my mouth's dry. <laughs> it's dry. That's okay. That's okay. Throat's dry. Mouth's dry. <laughs> There's an ad. Viator. Oh, Jim Shark. Look at that. Jim's out here. Yeah, I can definitely feel my muscles. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a workout. You don't have to do the heaviest weight. Whew. Alright, lunges. You want to make sure you step that foot out far enough. Mm. Feel it in the quads and get a nice little stretch with the uh, groin. Feel it in the calf on the back leg. Make sure to step that foot up. Don't drag it best you can. Now we're going to do reverse. Huh. Same thing, just reverse. Let's try this. Let's try, try to stay tall. I'm doing it like this so y'all can see my form. So I can see my form. Oh my goodness. This ain't no joke. All right, so uh, camera cut off, but we're back and we're doing Y raises. 
Good old Y rays is it's pretty simple. It's exactly how it sounds. going to hit those rear delts. <laughs> 15 and that's good enough for me. Want to make sure to hinge at the hips. <laughs> so essentially just fall over at the hip. And since I did that, I don't have to do, I get a little time to rest. Because yeah, they're doing single leg. I just do both. I mean, single legs, nice to target both legs, but I'm just not doing it right now. So after this, should be biceps and then I'll be done, well, I'll be done with this video, but I'm going to do a 10 minute abs after this, get a little extra core work because I want these bad boys to be popping. Ooh, definitely feel that in my biceps and everything. Oh, a little bit more shoulder. That's cool for the front front delts. That's cool. It's cool. I say control the weight. Don't just let it fall down. All you really need to do is go as high as your eyes, and that's fine. It burn. More rear delts. Beautiful. So bring that out.
kickbacks. I'll do a little lighter weight. I'll do a little lighter weight for these kickbacks. Just bend over, and you want to bring that elbow up. Well, really, just bring the arm up. Pretty much keep your elbow in the same place. I don't even know how many I've done. But I feel it in my triceps. Oh, man. Remember to breathe. That's not how you do it. Nice, 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 nice. Whew. All right, and that's the workout. So that was beautiful. Oh, man, yeah, that's why I like the dumbbells because each arm gets to work independently on its own. You don't have the support of the other arm to help out, like if you're doing bench press or you know you're using the, the long bar so yeah I can definitely feel that in my forearm my bicep I can feel it all over so that's good that's oh, that's how you know your body's working ripping up that tissue in order for it to be brought back better bigger stronger more durable you're going to look good, especially if you're doing yoga, to help relieve the tension and stretch everything. You know, I'll probably do a nice deep stretch routine tomorrow, Yoga with Adrian. It's like a 45-minute routine, but it's, it's good. It's good stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this. Maybe you followed along with me. Maybe you didn't because, you know, it wasn't really necessarily the most structured thing in the world. I'm just showing you what I be doing. So uh, hopefully you could appreciate the work that I'm putting in to be my best self. Hopefully you're putting in the work. That way you can be your best self because this is about health, holistic health. You know, we love to talk about the diet, but then usually the people who are always talking about diet, they never talk about exercise. And then the people who 
are always talking about exercise. They talk about diet, but they never talk about, you know, going within the cave, like going within yourself and being mindful and having a meditation practice or the yoga practice, which is not only good for the body, but the mind as well. So I'm the type of person who's going to put all these different things together that way I can nourish mind, body, soul, you know, the physical body, the thinking body, the emotional body, which really is just one body. So everything that I can do to be on point is what I'm going to do. All right. So from my sore muscles to you, I thank you deeply and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace to the gods.